Before you buy the Logitech C920 webcam, wait until I tell you all the pros and cons of the device. I've owned mine for over 10 years. Take a look at it. Here it is. I set her back up 10 years later, the original one. You're looking at it right now. This is it. This is my original webcam that I started as a full-time YouTuber, a full-time live streamer on Twitch. Back in the day, I had a thousand concurrent viewers watching me right through that camera when it was the brand new camera of the day. Why is it the most popular webcam of all time? As you can see, the visual quality on it is pretty darn good for under $100 even today. That's why it's still selling off the charts. But before you purchase this camera, I wanna help you understand whether this is the right webcam you should have on top of your monitor, what sort of accessories you should be getting, what kind of lighting you can use to complement this webcam to get maximum picture quality out of this cam if you decide to buy it as your budget option today. So let's go ahead and take a look at the camera itself really quick and talk about the features. It does go up to 1080p and you can run it at 720p as well. It does not do 4K video. So if you're wanting 4K, the Logitech C920 does not do 4K. But what I would say is that it does do 1080p as well as almost any other 1080p camera on the market today, even folks that have tried to rip this camera off and use similar technology. The built-in microphones on the camera are eh, I don't really recommend using them. And it comes with the standard mounting system essentially, where you can uh, use this grip to put it on top of your monitor and get it in a decent enough position to use it uh, on your live streams and on the top of your computer. I do recommend adding a mount. I will show you in a moment for that. But one thing that's really cool about the design is that you can fold up the camera as you see right here in this uh, diagram. And there's a little mounting thing on the bottom that you can screw in a gooseneck to to get it in the perfect position if it being right on top of your monitor isn't the right spot for you. So let me show you what I'm talking about. It's this flex flexible desk mount right here. And what you can do is you can put the camera on top of it, screw it in there, and you can bend this desk mount and get the camera just in the right spot to get the perfect shot of you to maximize quality. I recommend getting the camera as close to your face as you can possibly get it to get the best picture quality because it doesn't go up to 4K. And so you're going to want every pixel, if you will, to be capturing as much of your face and your body as you possibly can. Links to all of these products, Amazon affiliate links are in the description below. This is not a sponsored video. I bought all this equipment with my own money. But in order to have the optimal shot, you're going to need some good lighting to go with it. Let me just show you an example really quick. So this is the DSLR level quality that you're going to see uh, in almost all of my videos. This is an $800 DSLR setup. When we switch over to the Brio, or not the Brio, but the Logitech C920, here is the comparison in terms of quality when I do that. This is the C920. So you see the major difference in quality. This is because it is an older camera, it is a lower resolution camera, and it doesn't pick up colors quite as well as something like a DSLR, so definitely keep that in mind. But it does come with software that can help you adjust the settings, which is a big reason why I still recommend Logitech webcams over most other brands, because the software allows you to control the settings, uh, the saturation, the focus, the zoom, the exposure. I mean, let me just show it to you right now so you can understand what you're getting yourself into. When you buy that Logitech camera, let me go to the wide shot so you can see that. When you buy the Logitech camera, you're not just buying the camera, you're also buying the software. So here is G-Hub, which is the software I prefer to control Logitech cameras. I'm currently, you're looking at me right now on the C920. And what you can do in Logitech G-Hub, I've got a whole tutorial series on this on my channel. You can adjust the zoom. You'll see me go out of focus or you'll see me get zoomed in on, see that. You can digitally zoom yourself. You can uh, mess with the focus if you're further away and refocus yourself. I recommend leaving it on auto exposure. Anything but auto exposure is going to be highly flawed. And I recommend leaving priority on exposure. Exposure is the most difficult thing to achieve with this camera uh, just overall. You can then go to video filters. It will auto white balance you, which is really solid. And then you can increase your saturation if you see. So you see how I'm kind of washed out right now. But as I increase the saturation, as you can see, the color is kind of coming back to my face. And I wanted you to see that you can play with the settings here and add color back. See how I now have color in my lips and my skin and my hair. And I've got a little bit more life to the shot now 
uh, because I put that saturation back in. And you can do all of that here using the G Hub software free with your Logitech camera, something definitely to take into consideration if you're looking at purchasing this camera. But one thing you need to know is no webcam, even the C920, even the Brio or the PW513, some of the best webcams on the planet, look good without good lighting. And so if you're looking at doing a green screen setup or you're looking to do just general lighting in your space, here are some of the products I use and I recommend that you should consider for purchasing uh, because without lighting, you aren't going to get anywhere near the bang for your buck with your Brio. So first things first, if you're planning on uh, doing a two-piece lighting setup, the most cost-effective kit is this one, in my opinion. I own, I own two of this kit for a total of four lights. And basically, it comes with two LED lights on uh, stands with power supplies, with stands, with diffusers to make the light soft, and two carrying cases as well. It's really amazing, under $200 if you want a larger lighting kit with a bigger wash light. And that goes really well if you're looking to do a green screen setup like this for presentations, webinars, live streaming, what have you. The Elgato green screen is my favorite. I've got two Elgato green screens right behind me right now, which is allowing me to chroma key and explain everything to you in this video. If you're looking to just do a one light solution, then the newer ring light is the one that I like using. Uh, and if you wear glasses, I do not recommend using it because it'll glare in your glasses. But if you don't have glasses, you can just turn this light on. It'll light your face and give you sort of a beauty light look, which will wash away many of your blemishes, but still leave you with date, detail, and color on your face and on your body. This one is under 100 bucks. If you're looking for the cheapest lighting solution, if you will, to give you a good wash light on yourself to light your entire body, a ring light can work for that. And you can put the Logitech C920 inside the ring light and just straight up mount it inside there. Choose your color temperature, turn it up and down, etc. It works out really great. Links in the description below to any of those if you're wanting to check them out uh, and you want to experiment with your own lighting. Maybe purchase it on Amazon, try it out in your home studio, and if it doesn't work, just return it within whatever the amount of time is to potentially get your money back if these are not the right solutions for you. So going back to the wide shot, I want you to see the C920 just one more time here. Uh, this is the way it looks with my current chroma key situation. It's not perfect. Let me show you what happens when I turn up the saturation on it. I start to get a little bit more color, as you can see, on me, which is really, really nice. The chroma key isn't perfect, but it looks a lot better, right? When you start to play with the colors, it starts to look a bit more natural, right? This, not, this doesn't look half bad. Is it perfect? No. In comparison to a DSLR, is it amazing? No. But it is a fraction of the price of a DSLR setup and of higher-end webcams like the Logitech Brio and like others uh, that cost hundreds, this one costs less than 100 which is a huge selling piece here for so many people that are hurting during COVID-19 or are just looking to get their home studio off of the ground. So in conclusion, do I recommend the Logitech C920 in 2021 and beyond as a camera option? I do if you are on a very, very hard budget and you cannot afford anything better. This camera is a significant step up from a built-in webcam on your laptop, for example, or even some built-in cams on other computers. Uh, it'll step you up from like being a one or a two out of 10 to like a four out of 10 is about where the Logitech C920 will get you. If you're looking to be a five, maybe six out of 10, you'll need to go with a much more expensive webcam, such as a Logitech Brio or an Avermedia PW513, both of which I've made videos about on this channel detailing, but those cost hundreds of dollars, whereas the C920 costs under 100. In my opinion, the C920 is the best budget webcam on the market still. I've yet to find one that performs better for the money. That's just my personal opinion. So if you have a hard budget requirement of under 100, I have not personally tested a camera that's better than this one. And I will be purchasing a lot more cameras and testing even more uh, in the market today. But so far, the C920 is an oldie but goldie. And I freaking love it. Back to the C920. Here it is. Here's the C920 shot one last time for the road. I love that C920. I can't believe it still works after 10 freaking years. I have moved it from uh, New York, to Canada, to Alabama, to Florida. I've used it in so many different situations and it just keeps on working and keeps on generating the same quality uh, visual that you see on the screen right now after all these years. I recommend it. I just plain do. Thanks so much for watching. Happy camera shopping and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.